Well guys, I figured we'd do a fish update. It's been a minute and uh, almost all summer long, you know, since you've seen what's going on, how things are doing, what's where we're at. And uh, yeah, so check it out. Here we have all our guys. They've been hosting the NEMS pretty awesomely. A big old lionfish down there. You see it, the eel is down there. It's getting huge, looking good. We got all kinds of goodies we just fed. I need to clean the glass, but big old sea urchin there. My little goby firefish. That guy back there, beautiful purple tang. Got it going on. There's a ras hiding in here somewhere, and I got the hogfish. He doesn't like it in the tank. He keeps going back here. I gotta keep putting him back, but over here, we got Gordy set up. It's looking really good. The Duncan's pissed because one of the Nems is living on it, but we got the other Nem there and some frog spawn and stuff, and it's looking really good. He's got it set up with some clowns and a tang as well. A little pseudochromus. And over here, the big old Oscars are chilling. They're all sleeping still. Gordy feeds them a little bit later in the day. But they're awesome. Plucko and all these cichlids. Some danios up here. So things are chilling, doing good. Uh, we need to do a little fish maintenance, water maintenance, uh, water changes and stuff. Run through, clean out. I didn't clean out my sump, run through, clean up my sponges and empty out my protein skimmer, all that stuff. Just do the maintenance, but that'll probably be later tonight or this weekend or something. There's the beautiful rass there. Love it. All right, so we're in and uh, Lily is just chilling with the CRX. She loves her big girl. But first things first, we gotta pop this thing on. We got from Dana Young Static, the man. He's awesome. So a fan sent him to this and then he sent it to us. So super appreciate the support and everything. He said he's been watching the videos. Huge shout out to him for that. We just gotta line up these middle tabs and pop them in. And uh, then it'll be good to go. Alright, let's make sure. Okay, so we got it up under there. We got all these clipped. Yes, my dad did say they do fly off. I don't know if I got that top one clipped, honestly. They they can. It happens. But I've got an idea. I might see if Nick can do like a, a wrap that's clear and holds it. Kind of like roll the window up, wrap this whole thing, and then cut out the window so the window can still roll up and down. But this is all inside a wrap or something almost to where it's held on better with some some structure i don't know it's something that we could try thank you baby girl for helping me i don't know something weird was going on there aef lock bull crab phone's got too much stuff going on these days but it's looking way better thank you huge shout out to young static lily cat for helping me out with it Lagoon, keeping everything looking fresh. The Gooby Cam, all blurry. I think I just turned too fast because uh, it was clear just a second ago. So we've been working on this Del Sol. Right now we're working on wiring up the gauges and everything. And uh, I'm liking it a lot. So he had this trick 3D printed thing that goes in there. So we got that set up, nice. Hi, Lily. Working on right now, we ran the wires down under the carpet, going over here. We're working on connecting right now the uh, wires to the ECU. So on the Honda, I just put the, whatchamacallit, the whip little jumper thingamajigger on the board. I start putting screws back in it. Um, so we can do the ground and then I need to do the input on uh, D10 on the jumper itself. We'll leave the Honda wiring alone. I won't cut that up. We'll cut into D10 and I think I need to double check. Uh, actually it might be A11, but I, I need to double check. Uh, 
if this is going to be turboed and if I'm wiring a boost control or not. Uh, I've seen a couple things here and there. I think I saw an intercooler next to his box of parts, but I don't think I saw a turbo or anything else. And I, I, I don't think I've seen a boost controller. I'm not sure. I got to figure that out. We did build him a pretty stout engine for to make some boosts, so I'd like to say we're putting a turbo on it, but I do not know yet. Meanwhile, all right. So we got the trans out last night. I have it over here at Morgan's and. He said, screw it, let's just take it apart and get the shaft out so, <clears throat> so we can get it over to Jeff. So that's awesome. Really appreciate Morgan, but no problem. I'll, I'll film this thing a little more once it's out and apart. So we'll see how it looks, actually. I, I'm curious to see what it looks like after the eight. I hope it looks perfect. I hope so, too. There's not really too much stuff to it. Okay. A little bit, with some, no big chunks, that's good. Yeah, I mean, I guess the only time I would have like really worried about hurting anything is when when the clutch was welded to it. Like I tried to put it in first a couple times and it just killed the car, but I oh, guess I don't gotcha. know if that would if that would damage the dog doing that. Catch the dogs, but it would be the opposite side of the dog that you drive. Oh, uh, okay, with. okay. Well, that's good at least. So far, so good. Well, I mean, it's got one pass on it. <laughs> oh, I guess that's fucking true. <laughs> Jesus, one pass. Okay, so the only thing that we we are finding here, like I said, one pass. So every single one of these on the pinion shaft it has a, has indentation of the final ring gear on it. So. You're saying that might be a little bit more than you would expect from one pass yeah it seems premature for one pass this looks okay so far hmm. okay. well we'll definitely let them know yeah it's it's hard to see but right there you can see like the yeah you can see the base of the tooth fighting in right there yeah and it, it looks like that all the way around right so, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, you can see that little line. Okay. And then, so we're kind of running through this side too, but you can kind of see, I mean, it's basically the, that teeth indented onto this one. And then on this input shaft, I mean, right there, that second, you can see it as well. So. See that? See kind of like the, the tooth indented? It's hard to tell, but the, the input shaft is coming out, so we'll be able to get some solid pictures of it. Okay. It's all the mating surfaces together. Yeah, so there was a little bit of... Like, this washer got real hot. And that was like a clearance thing you are saying? Or, well, I mean, I guess the... I'm not the, sure, just based on, I mean, a lot of stuff was mechanically contacted but i don't know why the bear it was the gear was free to spin yeah so i'm not sure what caused this to eat itself yeah but that bearing i guess that this bearing did end up kind of locking itself to the little collar yeah it didn't spin so that was something that was gonna become an issue real quick yeah that would have probably got real hot real fast and bound up yeah so there's that I guess other than that, I mean, there's all the the teeth kind of in, imprinted onto, and then this is the brand new new version of you know the input shaft. So, but we're we're gonna get this whole thing looked over, and then I guess we'll get these parts come in and put it back together. Try again. I don't know. Yes, attempt fifty eight. Yeah. But, this year or <laughs> yeah this week what? yeah it's, it's been a process and i and i know the this one was good too but this one also had like you could you could see the the final drive imprinted onto these ones too oh yeah so i don't know if those were going to start pitting real soon or but this this one's brand new from from this year too so i don't know 
we're we're gonna get these parts basically to the machine shop and uh try to get something figured out because we gotta make this race So now I'm back over here at PFI with the parts that yeah, we pulled parts. at Morgan's yesterday. Yep. So just showing Shane uh, that washer and... Uh, Second time this has happened. Yeah, so I, I pulled this out of the, the bin. This is the, the OG, first time it happened. This thing had been through some stuff. Yeah, so this, they got so hot that it basically welded itself got to the stuck. thing. We couldn't get it off. But this one so. was, it did come off, but you can see it's just as black. Yeah, it's toasted. It's just so, toasted. So we need those three parts like we'd mentioned over at this Morgan's. This collar and, and bearing, bearings toasted, yeah. got stuck to the collar. And then the shaft's going to go off to Jeff. Yep, so the shaft's going to go off to Jeff. But it will fit different clutches. Yeah. And then... Looks looks decent for what we did. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that's all the indentations, yeah, but we'll take some pictures of that and send them out. Definitely but. could be worse. It's not the, not the worst. But. Yeah. Maybe it's one path. It's one pass. A lot of driving though. We did drive around a lot. I don't count driving in the pits. I feel like driving. It was driving. less than a mile. I bet. It's not hard on the, the gears, but it shows you wear marks. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Too yeah. many trips to Taco Bell, you know. Taco Bell, car shows. Yeah. On and off trailers. Pits. Two different pit roads. Yeah. I, yeah. I, so <laughs> I don't know. we're gonna get this stuff buttoned up, taken care of. Hopefully we don't have things like that happen again. And uh, we'll be back with you in uh, like a week or two with a fresh okay. transmission ready to rock. It's gonna be super sick. Super excited to get Mario out there at the track racing with all of us. We gotta get that green Civic out of the trailer too. I saw Jamie's over here, so. He's gearing up, I think, to Get his car back ready as well so yeah everyone's just yeah everyone's just going crazy yep we gotta build a fresh bullet in jamie's we gotta get the freedom civic out a lot to do a lot going on i'm excited stay yeah. tuned man yeah if you guys want to know the spoilers they're on goofy belt <laughs> right yeah this is no we're just uh tell them tell them you're Getting ready to throw it back together? Or? Well, it's not even a part. All I did was take out the trailer. It looks parted oh. out right now. Really? Yeah, we parted it out at the track. Oh, true, yeah. I don't have a transmission. Yeah. That thing's broken. I was at Morgan's last night. Uh, Your transmission's still in the car. Oh, I know. I told him not to worry about it yet. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just... I've got blocks at the machine shop. I can go pick stuff up in the morning. So, yeah. I'm going to be another week before I need a transmission. Yeah, so. no, I'm just we're just filling everyone in. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. starting to gear up to get ready. I opened a parking lot up. I moved my trailer over there last night. Yeah, it looks nice. Dang, you're already starting to turbo it? I see you got your charge pipe right here. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. the new downpipe. Yeah, the new downpipe. <laughs> There's a downpipe in here to be exhaust. <laughs> Yeah, that's the exhaust. Oh, yeah. Keep little, it clean. A little transition, no big deal. Yeah, yeah, they make swages for that nowadays. So. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, so you got it, it running. So close. We got a little noisy uh, crank sensor, but we're working on it. So as soon as we dial on that, man, we're going to be dry. Yeah, it's still, still, still on that rut and it's down. I'm going to go for a rip. I've had, I've had customer cars, so it's like. Yeah, yeah. But I'm trying. We'll be back to it. It's it awesome. sure is cool. Well, yeah. Next 4th of July, it'll run. <laughs> you think our boy Preston did that? 100%. That looks very nice. That's super nice. I mean, if he didn't, if he, he didn't, should then, he should offer that. I like yeah, he does the stripes like that too. Oh, I know, I know his tape works everything. super good. Yeah. yeah. He has everything. Yeah. yeah. Jamie's putting a wide band in this. He's been tuning this thing up. Hell yeah. Steven's on. engine right there is going down. Working Ooh, on the Del Sol. Is he coming in or what? No, Steven's not coming. I'm getting. I got both the short blocks. I got to get ready, and then I got to take them back to the house. And yeah. He'll put the head on and take care of it from there. He said. So 
so yeah gotta stack that sucker i got his crank i gotta clean everything make sure it's ready to rock get it all together torque it down put his other block on the stand do the same thing torque it down get him to him it's starting to feel like the week before psea or something. yeah it's it's yeah, coming dude in all these cars we'll be back at nick and bajorn's again this weekend yeah and it, it doesn't stop it doesn't stop and i'm not gonna stop and you sure as shit aren't stopping me!